Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be talking about my October favorites in this video. I don't have quite as many things here, but I definitely still have a decent amount of stuff, I would say. So we're gonna get right into it, but if you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Uh, my Instagram and my Twitter are also linked down below. Sorry, you guys, there is a fly in here that is like acting crazy and it will not leave the room. I tried to open the door and it's just like, refusing to leave the room <laughs> okay um let's talk about some fashion pieces first because i have a little bit more than i usually do and these are some really good things i love it when i get things that i can link for you guys because i know sometimes when you find things at tj maxx you know they're not going to be at every tj maxx and you can't buy it online and then there's also uh thrifting i can't link that stuff for you guys so these are things you guys can actually get anyways i have this Carhartt hat that I'm obsessed with right now. I just feel like this is so cozy. It looks so cute with so many outfits and it's a way to be really casual and cozy, but also like trendy at the same time. I love the white one. I know that there's different colors that you can get with these. I actually got this for Christmas as a gift last year, but I just hadn't really worn it much last winter. I don't really know why. I feel like maybe I lost it or something. I'm not sure, but this year, it's finally getting cooler now so i can finally wear this hat and i'm really excited to get a lot of use out of it this winter like i said it's just very very cute and i just love the white it makes it extra cozy and then we have a couple of like jackets one of them is sort of like a jacket but it's like a corduroy shirt and this is so cute because it's this like cream tannish color and I love the little like tortoise buttons and it just, it's not super thick like a shacket, but it kind of looks like a shacket, if you know what I'm saying. It just has that cozy look to it. And I feel like this can go with a dressy outfit or a casual outfit. It can kind of go either way. So I'll try to put a picture on the screen of me actually wearing this, but I did just get it. So it's new and I haven't worn it a bunch, but I just, I already know that I love this because it's just really cute. And it's one of those pieces that's kind of foolproof. Um, another jacket that's like a denim jacket. This is a black denim. This is from Target. And this one is very, very thick denim, but it's also really oversized at the same time. So it's just like the perfect, like chunky jacket for the fall time. And I actually wanted this last year, but I never ended up buying it. And then this year I saw it in the store. So I just went ahead and picked it up because I knew that I was gonna wear it a lot this fall and maybe even in the winter time too. So this is just another great layering piece. I've been getting really into jackets and like layering pieces because I just love that for the fall time. And I feel like the fashion is changing a little bit this year from what I wore before. So I wanted to get some new pieces. And then let's talk about a couple pairs of leggings because I'm, I'm obsessed with these. I'm so glad to finally have like staple leggings in my wardrobe. I feel like I was just wearing like random old leggings that I had and they were kind of ripped. I think they were from like H&M or some were really cheap and I just didn't have a really good black leggings except for I think I had some workout ones that I didn't really wear that much with like casual outfits because they had like logo printed on them and stuff. So I know that's a rant, but I'm glad to have some basic black leggings that I love. So the first pair is from Airy. So like the American Eagle like loungewear store, I guess is kind of what it is. And these are the really, really popular ones that everyone has been talking about where they crisscross in the front. So they, oh my gosh, this fly. <laughs> so they kind of cinch in your waist and make it look like you have like a smaller waist just because of the shape of them. They're also very, very stretchy. Oh my gosh. And they are very thin, but they're like really soft and stretchy and they're not like see-through thin, if that makes sense. So I feel like these, you could use these to work out, but in my opinion, they're a little bit better for loungewear because they don't have like a ton of support. And um, I feel like the band will roll down a little bit maybe if you work out in them. These are actually dirty right now. I need to wash them, but I just brought them over here for the video. I haven't actually worked out in them yet. I've just worn them for casual, but I really like them for that because they're just like, I don't know, with these, I like that they're thin and stretchy and soft and you can wear them for loungewear or like with an outfit. And then these other ones are from Target and these are a lot more affordable. These were $15, which is really good price. And they're actually like this ribbed texture. 
so they're not completely smooth which i kind of like because i feel like it adds a little bit of character to an outfit if you're wearing these with an outfit i feel like you could also use these to work out they're not as stretchy as the other ones but they're a little bit more like they have more support so i feel like they hold up better like they stay they don't roll and i like how they like kind of cinch you in at the waist because it has this band here. I actually have these in a medium and a small. The airy ones I only have in a medium and that's perfect. And these both fit, but I feel like I like this the way the smalls fit a little bit more actually because they're a little bit just tighter overall. I thought at first that I liked the mediums more, but they do stretch out a little bit over wear and I hate the look of loose leggings. It's not like overly so, but it is a little bit to where it just kind of bugs me. So I think I prefer the smalls, but I can wear either. And either way, I love these. I think that they are unique because they have that ribbed texture and they could also be loungewear or like an outfit or workout, whatever you want. Although I feel like these aren't quite as comfortable as the other ones. They're comfy, don't get me wrong, but they're not like that thin, soft, stretchy material that the airy ones are. So they're not, I wouldn't recommend them as much as those just for around the house. I still would, like you could still totally wear them like that, but I just feel like the other ones are a little bit more comfortable, but these are only $15, so you can't really go wrong. Anyways, you guys, I feel like I ramble a lot about that clothes, but I don't really have that much else here to share, so I guess it's okay. This video isn't gonna be super long. I have a hair product. This is the Cantu Wave Whip Curling Mousse, and this is actually a, more like a foam, which is basically just a lighter version of a mousse. If you've ever tried the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Foam, I did a refresh video with that and I've also used it on wash days. This one, I haven't tried yet for refreshing, but I have used it on wash days and I really, really like it. And it is half the price of the Not Your Mother's one. And I really love that one, but I feel like this one is probably just as good. Again, haven't tried it for refreshing, but otherwise I really like it. And it's like four or $5. So you can't really go wrong if you're looking for like a good foam. Again, don't expect like a full on mousse from this. Like it says, I feel like I wouldn't use this alone for a styling product because it's just not enough, but just for like a light styler to go with a stronger product. I really like this one. And again, it's so affordable. Like you can't go wrong. Quickly want to mention this Heritage um, Magic Spell Texturizing Spray. I tried this out in the Heritage video that I did quite a while ago, and I haven't really talked about it since because I've just been trying it out slowly since this isn't the type of product that I always use. Um, I use this more when I style my hair with heat, so if I have like straightened or heat curled hair, then I will use a texturizing spray like this to add a volume at the root. But if my hair is just natural, like I just have my natural waves or curl styled, I won't really use this because I feel like I don't need it. My hair already has enough texture to it usually. It's just when I use a heat tool, I feel like my hair can get really like smooth to the point where I don't have enough texture or like volume. So I will use something like this. So I've really liked having this texturizing spray for that. And that's kind of why it's taken me longer to have like a review on it. But I really like it so far. And I think that it's a nice, affordable texturizing spray. So um, the last kind of like hair thing here is this swerve pin. I discovered what it's called. I talked about this in my last video and I also talked about this in my hairstyles video because I did use this for one or two of the styles. I just figured I'd mention it in a favorites video because I haven't mentioned it in a favorites video even though I've talked in other videos about how much I love it. It's just so easy to use. It keeps your hair up. You can do so many different like types of buns with it. Basically anything you wanna do, you just put this pin in and it's kind of hard to like show you guys what you do. But basically for me, like right now I have a claw in, but I would just like take this thing and make sure that the bend is going up like this. I would point it towards my head and then like push it down into my hair. So like right now it's in there, but it's not like properly in because I have this claw in. And this like curve, ends up hugging the back of your head, if that makes sense, like the curve of your head. So you can do it high or low or in the middle of your head, whatever you want. I will link down below the website where I got mine from, but you can get these on other places. It's just, I really like the, the way that this one is curved. I feel like it keeps your hair in really tight. But yeah, this is just a nice little tool to have that is so versatile and you can just throw this in your purse. Um, instead of like a hair tie or something. Okay, and then we have one skincare product that I wanna mention. This is the Pharmacy Clearly Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I actually don't know the price of this. This was sent to me, 
but I'll have to look it up. I know it's more expensive than like the Inky List one that I've talked about in the past. That one you get so much product and it's so affordable and I do really like it. But I will say that one is a little bit thicker. It's like, it's like a thick, almost like um, ointment feeling, which it does wash away, but it does leave a little bit more of a residue I feel like. Um, whereas this one is just a little bit thinner and for that reason it might be more enjoyable to use but again this one is I'm sure pretty expensive compared to that one. I know there's other good ones but I have really been enjoying that so I do want to talk about it in my favorites video. The last thing here that I want to mention really quickly is something that I talked about briefly in my last month's favorites video but I basically just brought it up to say that that was what I was drinking in my intro in that video and I had just received it in the mail, so I was trying it out. But I have had the time now to try this out. This is the Bloom Blue Lavender Blend, and I've been using this for a lot of different things, smoothies, drinks, I use it in baking. It's just a really versatile product, and I will say, the other one that I have, the pumpkin one, is not my favorite. I would not recommend that one. I don't think it's worth the price. But this one, the blue lavender, if you like lavender, and it's, it has blue spirulina in it, so it makes things blue, which is so fun. This one I would definitely recommend if you're into this type of thing because I totally think it's worth it, and it's just such a fun thing to have. I love this flavor and it's like natural ingredients, which is great. So yeah, wouldn't recommend the pumpkin one. That one's just like grainy and doesn't really taste that pumpkin-y, um, but this one is really good and I have yet to try any of the other ones from them, so I can't give you a review on that. It's kind of like I'm 50-50 right now because I loved one and didn't like the other, so I just have to try more to see like where I stand about the brand as a whole, but this one I do recommend regardless. So that is my Bloom Blue Lavender Blend. It is vegan, caffeine-free, and you get 100 grams of product in this, I think. Yeah, I think it's 100 grams. Uh, but anyways, those are all my favorites. I really didn't have that many products. I only had like five products besides my fashion stuff. It's just a little bit of a, just not quite as many things, but that's okay because I feel like I talked longer in this video about each thing than I normally do. But anyways, Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know in the comments what other videos you wanna see from me, whether it is hair videos or just other content in general, I'd love to know. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys next time. Bye.